So for the next part of this video, uh, we're gonna go to the Full Line Egg Dealer here in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, and we're gonna check out a fancy new Fent tractor. It's got a new Gen 6 cab on there, Austin from Full Line Egg. He's gonna show us around this thing. And uh, yeah, just show this new piece of equipment. It's a pretty uh, exciting new cab on this tractor. And that's kind of like the big new feature for this thing. So figured I've already checked one out in person, but I kind of got to show you guys in a video and uh, just go have fun for an afternoon at a tractor dealership with some brand new tractors. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am. So we're here at Full on Egg. You guys have seen this guy before in the videos. How are you guys doing? So he's gonna show us this tractor. What are we exactly looking at today? So we're looking at a Fent 716 Gen 6. So essentially what it is, is the whole new Fent 1 cab. So you got three nice big screens in there, uh, a whole different interface, a whole different joystick. It is, Fancy. it is nice, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is what we're looking at right now three of them nicely lined up so this this first one is the the s4 series it's still the the previous version of the fent tractor cab that everyone knows and loves the middle one is the new gen 6 and then that far one is the s4 as well so we only have one of these gen 6s left here in saskatoon uh, so it should be should be good to see so if you guys want one you know where to find them <laughs> <laughs> That's a big boy over there too, eh? Yeah, that's a that 330 horsepower. Oh, so, yeah. Was that one in Purdue for a little while there? Or? We have one in Purdue as well as one here uh -huh. and then one in Swift, but I think one of one of the three sold, so. Oh, right on. Uh, I think it might've been this one, but yeah. Sweet. I'll give you the keys and you can jump in. Thanks, man. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so then I guess first things first to get it started, there's the battery disconnect just on the side. Yep. And then, yeah, put the key in, foot on the clutch, and it'll fire right up. So I got the three screens in here. Just the yeah, so this, this is your first one. It's uh, just a general screen showing your your main information, so your RPMs, your and or your miles per hour, your speed, parking brake, kind of your main stuff. You can customize this a little bit, and in future updates, I think they're gonna make this have some pretty cool features in it. Right on. Will this tractor be able to get updates? Like yeah. Like so essentially, when the newer updates come out, uh, these can just keep getting updated. There's there's a couple little functions that right now they don't have anything to do, but they're kind of building these tractors for continuing to update. That's cool. And then this is your main terminal, I guess, yeah. that's what you call it? So this would be your main your main terminal here. It's a bigger terminal than the last generation, as well as a whole different interface and how it's interactive. Uh, you also have the exact same terminal up here, and it actually comes out of the roof. So say you need to see more out of this side, you can push it up, tuck it away, that top will shut off, push it, and it'll come down. So this one is the same way, touch screen, all completely interactive. You can change anything on this to be the same as this. Uh, there's lots and lots of customization that you'll, yeah, you'll this realize. Is <laughs> three screens in a tractor, I guess, hey? <laughs> yeah. It, it can be a little overwhelming at times, um, but my favorite part about the three screens is you have all your main kind of information on here. You can have your tractor functions on here. And then if you're hooked up to a baler, you can have all your baler, baler ISO stuff plugged in right there. So I guess if you're baling, you don't have to have that extra uh, monitor in here. Yep. It just runs right through the fent terminal and it's tucked up nice out of the way. And yeah. Practical. 
spectacle, I guess. Yeah. yeah. It, it's a little overwhelming and guys get in, they're like, why do you need three screens? Why do you need three screens? Well, yeah. when you actually put it to use, it's... Yeah, yeah they'll, they'll realize it when they're in the field doing some work and then they'll... Oh, exactly. Kind of nice. Exactly. You're not you're not trying to cram way too much onto one. You can have lots on one, and then lots. I don't. Know, it's yep. it's nice when you're actually in the field using it. Yep. Right on. Well. So yeah, this is this is all new too. I guess it's all the controls here. The new joystick. Yeah. So the big thing that I've noticed with this joystick, the the last series, you're more of a vertical upright, and your hand kind of wraps around. This one, you're nice and flat, and it just kind of rests in your palm. You're not really gripping too much. It's kind of relaxed. It's relaxed, exactly. Oh. And then you have a little more functionalities. You have a little scroll wheel here um, for if you're in a cruise control, just going up uh, little, bu little bits at a time. Everything in this is just more refined and uh, a lot easier to actually use practic like practically wise. Oh okay. yeah. I guess this is the joystick for the front end loader. Yes, and that thing is really, really wonderful. It probably one of uh, someone who does bailing, lots of bailing. That is going to be your best friend. Oh, yeah. So, essentially, on it, there's a whole bunch of different features. So, here is your main working range of motion. You actually have your float if you push past, and you'll be able to feel that when you go. You also have your grapple loaded onto here with a live third function so you can be lifting up opening your grapple doing all that at the same time there's a little trigger back here and now this is what I'm talking about they're building for the future in a sense okay so you have all your options on here if you push this down and then you start bumping you'll have another set so you can preset another hole for like uh, a second auxiliary or something exactly. on, the, on the bucket or yeah so you okay. can you can do a lot more uh, with these than the previous generation. Right on, that's pretty cool. This is the coolest part about this joystick. So this is actually a shuttle. So say we're bailing, we go, we grab our bail, we want to go into reverse. Instead of having to go over here and bump this backwards or hit this little thing right there, we push this button, turns us into reverse, and then you use your foot pedal, go backwards, hit this again, you're in forward and just keep going. So you never have to take your hand off that joystick. You're just, huh? Yeah, I've, I've sat in this tractor or this this or like a seven. Yeah, like, this, is that something similar? Or? Yeah, seven twenty four or something yeah. like that. First time I touched this joystick, like it's pretty similar to a wheel loader. And a lot of electronic joysticks, they're not as responsive. There's a little play in there. Mm -hmm. This is pretty much like it's pretty much like a wheel loader. Yeah, like it's good. pretty pretty accurate. Good. So do you want to drive it with the joystick first or the foot pedal? Um, I guess people usually go for the foot pedal yeah. first. Yeah, that's, yeah, let's do that. okay. And I'm sure the viewers today are going to enjoy the nice clean windows for once in a tractor. <laughs> They're not used to that on my channel. <laughs> right on, we're back driving a Fent. <laughs> How does it feel? Pretty good, man. <laughs> So yeah, right now it's only giving us RPMs as we need it. It's not giving you any more. You don't have to worry about throttling up, you know, all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. You know what they're about. You'll be able to take that GPS screen and put it on here. So then you have your GPS on here, all your tractor functions on there, and then say a baler or whatever you want, your ISO on that top one. Huh. Can you put Netflix on any of them? <laughs> that would be sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, you know, that Gen, uh, I guess it was a 942 Gen 6 that you demoed. Yeah. Uh, just like that, it has mics all over the place, uh, speakers all over the place. Uh, the main difference though is, was the, was the radio in the terminal in yours, in the one that you demoed? I think it was. Yeah, okay, so it, same thing as this. Uh, yeah. There's no radio up top anymore, it's all just, right. It was in the terminal, because when Mike went and he's like, yeah. who is this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure nobody knows which mic we're, we're uh, referring to, but yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna see how smooth this thing is across the field. So, yeah. so we'll park and brake off, right. and we're in forward now. Let her, let her buck. Mm -hmm. 
So it, say we're simulating going and picking up a bale right now. So you'd open up your grapple. So then you'd go forward a little bit, I guess, with your foot pedal. You go grab it and now close it. And then you hit your shuttle there on that. And then give it gas. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. And then you get kind of turned a bit, then hit your shuttle again. Yep, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that's pretty sweet. So you, you never you never really have to take your hand off the steering wheel, your front end loader joystick, and you can still be going back and forth doing everything. Yeah, that's like the exact same as our wheel loaders. It's got the forwards neutral reverse yep. on the joystick. You do everything there. Same thing pretty much. Yeah. Like, it's huh. it makes sense. Alright, we're gonna test the speakers in this thing. Oh how high should we go? Keep going. 75. Yeah. So we were driving around that other 716 and something else caught my eye. Big tractor on the mound here. That's a beast. 517 horsepower. Wow. Smells good in here. Smells good, eh? <laughs> Holy. Oh, so this one's got the leather. Yeah, so this is like what I was talking about, like that high quality and like your seat and everything. It's got the diesel Ross on it. And then it... Well. Yeah, so this is the same cab as that 942 that I checked out last year. Yeah, exactly. Right yep. on. It's pretty, uh... It's pretty lacking, man. What is? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but that's the thing. When this when this was the only fan cab, it was truly like, wow, this is yeah. this is a lot. This is incredible. And then they just <laughs> showed up with the yeah fan one. Took a little and, higher. Yeah. Yeah. Got the cooler in there. Yeah. And then. Nice ram mount, ram mount for a iPad. That's yeah. for picking up your front weight. Front there. weight, yep. <laughs> it's nice too if you have a blade or something like on that. Like oh some guys have these, and then they'll have a big blade hooked onto the front. So in winter, they use this to push snow and do all that stuff. So a little front camera would be pretty handy. We're pushing uh, silage up on exactly. the pile. Exactly. Yeah. 
I, I can get you into it. I know a guy. <laughs> <laughs> right on. <laughs> Probably if we had this thing, it would be uh, chopping, not pushing the silage. Because yeah. I'm the chopper, so. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we can put some big LSWs on it, and it'll be perfect for chopping silage. Yeah. <laughs> Probably kill the JF stall chopper. <laughs> that thing would be begging for mercy, man. Yeah. <laughs> so he just asked if I want to drive it, and I was like, I'm not gonna say no to that. So he's backing it off the mound right now. That's a big boy. You just hear the gravel crunching underneath the wheels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she doesn't want you to turn the wheels too much when you're standing still. Eh? Yeah, when, once you start moving, it's like nothing. But yeah, yeah when you're <laughs> standing still, it's a lot of rubber to move. <laughs> Well, that was a lot of fun. So thanks to you. I'll link your YouTube channel. He has he making videos as well. So that'll be in the description down below. And uh, yeah, yeah, thanks, thanks for yeah, thanks for coming. It was fun. Yeah, no Come problem. by any time. We got lots of stuff to drive around. Right on. <laughs> so yeah, that was at uh, Full Line Egg here in Saskatoon. Perfect. Right Come on, on by. <laughs> well, guys, that was a lot of fun. It's crazy to see tractors that are that fancy and that epic and just fun to drive. And that's, I guess, farming in 2021. Crazy to imagine that's what it's becoming. And as you guys can see, that new cab, that's the direction it's heading in, which is crazy. It's cool to see. And uh, yeah, that was a pretty fun afternoon there. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I really enjoyed making it. Uh, if you guys did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you like. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.